After the mission uh, Shakti, 27th March 2019, today we had a meeting, interaction with all the eminent scientists and strategists of the country, wherein some of the details of the mission have been shared, informed. The scientists who have been supporting us in all our endeavors, uh, we thought it is our responsibility to share the information about Mission Shakti. And we had the interaction uh, sometime before now coming here. I thank all of them who have participated and who are there with us all through our endeavors supporting us. Thank you very much, sirs. Friends, I will give some of the details of the Mission Shakti. What has happened on uh, 27th of March 2019? The Mission Shakti, primarily the objective of it is neutralize a live satellite in the low Earth orbit. And the neutralization is by a direct hit with an interceptor missile launched from ground. And the neutralization should be very fast from the takeoff of the interceptor missile. These are the agenda what have been uh, for the mission Shakti and you can see the interceptor missile which is there on the left side of it and the typical satellite which has been uh, neutralized in the low earth orbit which is there on the right side of it. When you look at the scenario, the target satellite is anything between 270 to 300 kilometers altitude. It's in the sun synchronous orbit, having velocities of more than 7.5 kilometers per second. The interceptor what has been used for this neutralization purpose is a three-stage vehicle with two stages of solid propellant and then a kill vehicle. You can see in the picture the full vehicle, the second stage and the kill vehicle and the kill vehicle uh, which is approximately about 19 meters, uh, 19 tons and 13 meters is the length of the missile. It has, I'll uh, cover it little later but initially it has a inertially guided nav uh, system and a divert and attitude control system, DAX, and a IA seeker for the terminal guidance. The challenges in this mission are, firstly, the hit to kill mechanism, meaning your accuracy has to be very, very, very good. Second, for a low Earth orbit satellite, the closing in velocities, or the relative velocities, are very high, more than about 10 kilometers per second. These are the challenges in this mission, what mission Shakti. When you look at the whole scenario, the detection and tracking systems located at four places detect and track the satellite and pass on to the command and control center. The command and control center works out the scenario and the possibility of interception and then to the launch complex informs that there is a target and the interception is feasible 
from that launch complex. Then the launch complex works on it, works on the missile, and all the operations which are required on the missile will be generated and continuously computes in the ground guidance system the exact time of the launch for the interception, what needs to take place, and launches the missile uh, on its own. The complete operations what I have defined are automatic without human intervention anywhere because the precision with which you have to launch are very high and so the launch computer is completely takes, off it, takes care of it. The target data needs to be continuously uploaded to the missile through a secure data link and that is continuously done to the missile through the transmitters what are there. This is the whole uh, scenario of the system. And when you look at the mission parameters, the missile is on a mobile launcher and the missile takes off from the mobile launcher and after some time the first stage burns off and first stage is cut off and dropped. Second stage is ignited. Again about more than 100 kilometers altitude, the second stage burns out and that is also dropped. Then now the kill vehicle is autonomous. The kill vehicle's first heat shield is remote and now the IIR seeker can look at the target. IIR seeker detects the target and tracks it from farther ranges of about 200 kilometers. From there, the thermal guidance starts for the limited short time what is available for the thermal guidance. With the inputs of the divert and attitude control systems, the guidance ensures the vehicle is continuously positioned to track the satellite and moves towards the estimated interception point and the interception takes. You must be seeing here the scenario which is there on the right side. The missile has taken off from the east coast and you have ensured the range safety considerations and put it towards the target satellite taking into consideration of the range safety and the interception has taken place at an altitude of 283 kilometers. <clears throat> when you look at the very critical technologies what have gone into it, the very important one what I put it first is the guidance and control algorithms what the scientists have designed for a precision hit. As I said right in the beginning, it's a direct hit into the satellite. So the guidance and control algorithms which have been innovative, which have been completely designed and completely simulated uh, in various modes have been utilized here. The strap down IAR seeker, which actually seeks and tracks the target in the terminal phase, one of the critical technologies which has been deployed. The divert and attitude control system, which requires very fast response, is another one which has been deployed, uh, which actually has got a very fast response solenoid walls which have been designed specifically for this to respond to the scenario of very high speed scenario in the terminal phase. And of course, the ring laser gyro based navigation system is another critical technology which has been deployed. These are some of the critical technologies which I'm highlighting here, which have been deployed in this mission Shakti. The industry has participated in this uh, mission in a big way. 
more than I think 50 industries have participated in this. They responded to the challenge, designed and developed many of the systems, some of the major systems like launchers, nozzles, rocket motor casings and whatnot. And I can say more than about 2,000 components, subsystems and systems have come from industry uh, for this mission from various industries located across the industry, across the country. The quality standards have been maintained in the industry and in the laboratories. Multiple quality teams have been uh, uh, deployed and they have ensured the quality of the, all the systems, including the integration mechanisms, have been thorough and monitored the each and every operation with a very specific view of maintaining the utmost quality. The quality teams in the industry, in the laboratories, and the quality assurance agencies all have participated in this mission, ensuring a success. The mission planning specifically, even though the interceptor has the capability to intercept at altitudes of more than 1,000 kilometers, it has been very specifically designed to have an interception below 300 kilometers to ensure the safety of the space assets which are there and also to see that the debris decay very fast. And uh, it is also chosen in such a way that the ISS space station is at least about 120, 125 kilometers above. And uh, it was also a head-on collision which has been planned to ensure that the debris won't fly high. And lots of simulations have been done to see that the debris aspect is not a concern at all in various aspects. And that's how the mission planning has been done. These are a couple of videos showing the mission and the target interception. The first one what I'm going to show is the live scenario data-based animation which actually happens during the launch. You can see the IS seeker has, is tracking in the field of view, the target is there, and you can see the kill vehicle continuously guided through divert thrusters to ensure that the target is within the field of view of the IAR seeker. And you can see that as the target is approaching, the uh, kill vehicle is positioning itself to have an interception. That is the actual live scenario of the uh, thermal event of the sh mission Shakti. This is the electro-optical uh, tracking uh, uh, system which has tracked the vehicles farther distances also, which shows the clear explosion what has taken place after hitting. The last one is the actual missile-based IAR seekers image, which has uh, the tracking, and the last image, what it has captured, is the one what is being shown now. This is the track of the IR seeker. And you can see this is the satellite, the last image of it, what has uh, been there. So with this mission Shakti, the achievements are the indigenous development of all technologies which have gone into Mission Shakti, and all of them have functioned as per the design parameters. Hit to kill has been achieved with a very high uh, precision of better than 10 centimeters from the geometric center of the actual satellite payload. Mission was very carefully designed for the range safety and resulting debris 
and the active participation of industry, along with, of course, many laboratories of DRDO have participated in this mission and made this together jointly, every one made this mission a, a grand success. Thank you. Thank you very much.